Hey, I'm not to worry about it. Everybody gets to work. 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 Everyb
Yeah, I say to the young woman, I just say to her, love let me down easy. Just say to me, you're way old, you're, you're, you're funny looking, you're bald, you're, you're, you're a comedian and not a very good one, and you're probably gonna die on me and you don't have any money. Just let me down easy. <laughs> Lesbian Hill. You know, there was a time when they were saying that Hillary was a lesbian, like that would make her less popular. Cat call. <laughs> We need better cat calls, right? We need to get those women to say, well, try it. Say, say, all of you say, bring your fine elderly ass over here. Everybody, bring, bring your, your fine, fine elderly, elderly ass, ass over, over here. here. Now, isn't that better cat calls? Yeah. Oh, angiogram. Yeah, don't worry, I have an angiogram. I'm not going to die. Right there. R. Kelly is his <laughs> Nipples. You all like nipples? Yeah. Everybody's a fan of nipples. I plucked mine to dress up for tonight. <laughs> I look like Bernie. Yes, no hair, no foreskin, no chance of being president. One night stand. <laughs> Have you ever been on a one night stand? Have you? Have you? No, no, no. It was an audition and you didn't make the cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, you're not man enough for it. Yeah. You're not yeah. secure enough in your masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you want to know what women want, guys, watch the lesbians. They are so loving together and just, they can hold hands. You know, you watch them hold hands, and I had my annual erection. Because, you know, that every cuticle is cherished, every pad and everything, and they hold hands like like it's just foreplay. How you doing? You like this? No. Not, not, a not, not a lesbian. Do I believe in life after death? I'm trying to have some life before death, damn it. Bisexual. I found out I was bisexual. I was looking at pictures of myself. And Kristen said, did you did have sex with a lot of people? And I said, well, I should have. I was hot. And I started getting really turned on looking at this picture of myself. I said, damn, I would have sex with that guy. In fact, I did. <laughs> Many times. CVS Oakland. I went to the CVS Oakland and I said, look. She said, I'm going to transfer. I, I want to get my prescriptions here. She said, well, then we got to fill out a form, don't we? And I said, well, yes, except I'm transferring from another CVS. And she said, well, then we don't have to fill out a form, do we? And I went to the other one and I said, look, is she treating me like that because I'm white? And she says, well, yeah, honey. Because with black people, she's rude. <laughs> Trump jokes. Well, you think it's going to be great if he's president, right? All you can eat is think, yeah, Trump will be president and we'll have a gold mine of jokes, yeah, until he rounds up all the comedians and puts them to death camps. <laughs> Syphilis, oh, thank you for sharing. <laughs> what doesn't make you old kills you. Think about it. Cis mail. You know, I went to change my address for OK Cupid. And I couldn't change my address, but I could change my gender, and there were 42 of them. I had to look it up. I have the name of cis male, which I call a blueprint. <laughs> Glory hole penis. Thank you for taking that one. <laughs> Listen, I have indeed put my penis into a glory hole, but every one of them was in a human being. <laughs> sir, when people call me sir, it drives me crazy. They never salute. They never salute. They call me sir and they don't salute. And I say, what? I'm not a gentleman. I don't own horses and I don't have dogs to kill foxes. Breast milk is all breast milk. There's no other kind. Except, you know, how do they tell the male and female soybean department? <laughs> going all the way. You remember? In junior, in junior high school, are you going to go all the way? Are you going all the way? Are you going all the way? Well, now I'm 68. Going all the way has a whole other meaning. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to tell you about my wedding night before we stop. We lived, we had the first door from the freeway exit. And so on my wedding night at two o'clock in the morning, somebody's knocking on the door and I went to the door. Strangely, I was naked, but I did put something on it. And I saw I opened the door 
And the guy says, well, I have trouble out on the freeway. Can you help? And I said, he has trouble out on the freeway. And she said, well, you gotta go. <laughs> now, if it were later in our marriage, she said, oh, you gotta go. But what use you're going to be, I don't know. But, you know, we were, it was the honeymoon. And so I went out and I helped him with his car. I don't remember what it is, but it was Seattle. It was raining and there were cars going by 100 miles an hour. And, the guy, and we got the guy fixed up. And he, then he offered me money. <laughs> I mean, you can't pay for this. <laughs> but you, and you don't have to pay for the comedy tonight. So thank you. Thank you for paying. <laughs> <laughs>